Hi, my name is Sudeel Fernandez. I'm the managing editor for GoodReturns.in. I'm here to tell you quickly on what happened in the market. It was another disastrous day for the market. This uh, indices fell again on weak global queues. Uh, Dow Jones were pointing to a cuts of one and a half percent, which led to selling pressure across Asia, and, uh, Europe, and also including India. So the Nifty uh, dropped again after a 270 point fall on Friday. Again, the week has begun on a weakish note, and the Nifty dropped about 109 points to end at 16,301 points. Uh, the Sensex lost about 351 points to end at 54,470.67 points. Now, the uh, Sensex at one stage had dropped even below the 54,000 points mark, but it saw some smart recovery uh, towards the uh, morning session, 11, 12 o'clock, we saw a sharp recovery. Let's tell you the stocks that fell in trade today. Uh, Reliance industry slumped almost 4%. The stock ended about 3.91% lower, uh, largely because the imp, uh, the results did not impress the markets. Remember, this is a stock that has run up sharply in the last two uh, three years uh, for the Nifty, and uh, therefore on the Nifty, and it's a rank out performer. And any under uh, financial quarterly numbers that are not as per expectations will lead to selling pressure. The stock stock slumped 4% to end at about 2,518 points. Nestle was another stock that dropped, it dropped 2.89%. Indescent Bank, Hero Motor Corp and Tata Steel were all among the losing stocks today. Let's tell you some of the stocks that gained. Power Grid uh, was up 2.83%. You had HCL Tech up 2.47%. Uh, Bajaj Auto, Infosys, uh, DV's Labs were all among the gainers. In fact, if it was not for the uh, tech pack, particularly Infosys, we would have seen sharper cuts on the uh, nifty overall it was banking stocks were uh, pretty much okay today they did not see sharp fall in fact hdfc bank which had fallen to almost 20, 1298 uh, managed to recover and end the day uh, marginally lower uh, we believe that the markets will continue to uh, remain volatile buy on declines that is the best strategy to adopt at the moment thank you for watching